Well, hello there, real gamers. RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. If you recall, a couple weeks ago, I did a video on the Nibble by Circuit Mess, which is a little handheld game system that you assemble yourself or assemble with the kids, whatever. Uh, today's uh, item is a little bit like that. It's from Circuit Mess as well. Uh, but this one does not require soldering as far as I know. Uh, and it's a little bit better suited, I think, for smaller kids to be able to build. I, I think the age is nine. Uh, they, yeah, age is nine plus. Uh, but looks like a fun little project. So we're going to take a look at it. Here it is. It's Frank the Frog, which is why I have the, the frog in the background. My wife loves frogs. She does not. Uh, but anyway, sorry sorry about the green screen. You know, it's me. Green screen failure is like my trademark. Uh, but anyway, we're going to start this like we always do. We start with the front of the box. Meet Frank. He's a frog and therefore the bane of my wife's existence. Unbox a world of curiosity. And that's about all that's on the front. Flip her around. No soldering experience? No problem. Practice your soldering skills while assembling fun, hands-on projects. What's inside? A robot, an instruction booklet, and collectible cards and stickers. And there's a bunch down here that's all warnings and such. Um, for the love of all the Tully, please, just don't eat it, okay? Do, don't eat it. It's just like the desiccant. You shouldn't eat it. All right, let's open it up and take a look inside. All righty then. Okay, first thing we got is a creator's booklet. Is it in full color? It is, it's in full color. Oh, there's a bunch of history. That's very nice. What makes Frank move? Frank is not for toddlers. All right. So there's that. We've got the stickers for making Frank come to life. Oh, that's gonna creep my wife out. Can't wait to show her it. A little card for Frank. It's got a little scanny, a <laughs> scanny thingy. Yep, yeah. 20 years in my teeth, folks. Over 20 years, oh man. Looks like we got a motor. We've got some uh, screws and standoffs. Motor back. It includes batteries. There's a battery pack down here, which I'm gonna assume you solder to the board. Got plastic pieces, a lot of them. And then we've got this. There's the board. It says Frank on it. All right. That's all that's in the box. We're gonna take step by step care in assembly, Frank and then see what we end up with. All right, real quick reminder, if you want to follow along, right here are the instructions. So just scan that guy from this video and you can just go along with me. All right, so anyway, step one involves all these plastic pieces. They need to have all these little plastic poppets cleared out and then you need to peel off the covers so I'm going to do that and play some music because we'll probably fast forward through this All right, for this step, we'll need this, the biggest of the plastic pieces. We'll need the battery case. We will need these two screws, and we will need these short spacers. Um, Note, see how I'm keeping my screws in this little holder? 
That's a good thing to do. Get into that habit. All right, so there's a couple things about this one. Um, make sure that the battery leads head out this way, at least according to the instructions. And then these little guys drop in. Wait, sorry. These little guys drop in. Sooner or later, I'll get you at the right angle so you can see it. Okay, I'm gonna flip this guy over and put these little stands on it. And you can just hand tighten it. Don't, don't over tighten it or you might break the plastic here. So there you go. The battery is now, or battery case is now in place. Nearly forgot. Make sure to put the batteries in during this step. At least according to the instructions. Oops. There we go. All right. Now we're done with part two. All right, folks. Welcome to step three. And on this step, we're going to put the motor in. We got the battery pack that we made earlier. We've got the main board right here, which I probably shouldn't be tapping like that. You got the motor, you got the two longest screws, and you got a couple of the short spacers, and they're pretty interchangeable. Yeah. And <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. Anyway, this motor faces this way. You can see there's a little hole, and then you put it this way. Uh, the biggest trick is keeping these wires out of the way. On the demo that they show, these wires are already tucked to the side, but on mine, they were tucked down. So I gotta be very careful to keep them out of the way. And then this just goes on top. Thusly, and you see how it's, there we go, got in the way. And you can see that these line up. Then we take these long screws and we shove them through the whole thing. Place them through the whole thing. Here we go. There's the first one. There's the second one. Now, this is a good time to check where that wire is because it loves to get in the way. I can tell you that. Two mistakes later, I can tell you that that is a definite thing. All right. This looks pretty good, though. Now I'm flipping her over. And we're going to put these little shorties on. There we go. And then flip it back over. And we are going to attach these. And I believe the battery pack, oh, actually it shows you. It's got little pictures, oh good. <laughs> battery pack here, so here's the battery pack. But move this guy. Wasn't that nice of them? Battery pack and M for motor. Thank you very much for doing that. There we go. That's step three. Step four is placing the stickers, which is a pretty easy step, except for the fact that I'm highly caffeinated. So, oh, I don't know. Here we go. We're gonna try. Gonna try. Oh man. <laughs> that's about right. Oh yeah. Actually, that's pretty good. It's definitely not perfect though. But hey, it's like that with do-it-yourself projects.
Here we go. That's going to cost me. Not bad. There's step four. Next, we're going to add Frank's head. So we're gonna face him this way. And here's his head. And basically, you open this just just enough to get the head in. And hopefully not to crack the body. Ooh, Rob, what you do there? Hold on. And he is almost in there. <laughs> get the other side in. How absolutely not to do this. There we go, I got it. There we go, and now his head's on. Uh, next, we're going to do the legs. I'm going to cut for a second, though, to make sure I get this absolutely right. All right, this next step involves these four longer spacers, the four long screws, these four little oval guys. Notice that there's a difference between them. I'll point that out again in a minute. Uh, one has like an oval here, and one has just a hole. And then we got these little silver screws. You also want a screwdriver for this. All right. So the important thing to remember is this guy with the round hole goes on the bottom. An oval one goes over it. Then you put the screws in through this side. There we go. And then we do these. Here's that one. Thusly round oval. You don't need to tighten them up ridiculously, but make sure they're snug. These guys go on here and you can see there's like a, a spot for this. There we go. And you put a screw through it. Not that one, <laughs> but this one. Should have used a magnetic screwdriver. Go. Make sure it's in there good. There, but don't over tighten that. All right, flip this. And that's, and that's good. All right, let's attach some legs. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to face them backwards. The important part is that they should both be facing the same direction. So, here, let me show you that. There we go. They should be like this. 
not this. And if you got it right, it looks like it does on the box. All right, let's take Frank for a walk here. Ooh, there's Frank. See you, Frank. So, uh, for fun, I reversed the motor. And, uh, so, you know, so you'd walk forward. But, uh, yeah, I don't think you're supposed to do that. So, uh, don't do that. All right, so parting thoughts on Frank here. I like Frank. He's a good friend. <laughs> anyway, you know, when I was from eh, probably about nine years old to about 13, every piece of electronics that came into my hands, I would disassemble. My Atari 2600, uh, my little handheld stuff from Mattel, I was constantly taking those apart. Those little, you remember that little racing uh, game that had the little... It had the steering wheel, and it just ran on a track. Uh, I disassemble that stuff, too. And if you've got a kid that's like that, or if you're like that, I suppose, this is probably the perfect thing for them because it gives them something electronic that they can look at, assemble, get the guts of, take back apart, mess around with, and just have some fun. And it doesn't hurt anything expensive like uh, <clears throat> I occasionally did. So, yeah, really cool little thing. Uh, you can check out Circuit Mess, um, and I'll put a link to it down below in the description. I'll also put something in the comments, I'm sure, and pin it. Anyway, I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it fun or educational, do me a big favor. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.